Welcome back to Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time, Billy and Blobbert went back to the scene of Blobbert's death and resurrection. Or maybe he just briefly fell apart and then molded back together because that's what blobs do. But either way, uh, we went back to World 1-1 and got our hands on whatever this crazy scepter is. Like, is that a reference to a Shantae game or something else that WayForward did? Was this meant to be, like, a sequel hook? I don't know. The important thing is that there's a challenge level inside of it. But before we go there, I want to give a shout-out to rnick93, who leaves a comment saying... You okay, Blobbert? This way! Blob! Come here! There you go. Ahem. <clears throat> Shout out to Arnick93, who leaves a comment saying, You know what would be scary? A cat form for Blobbert. Why? Well, an entity with such abilities as Blobbert, combined with the predatory instincts and attitude of a cat. I don't care how cute it might be, it's too scary to actually desire. <laughs> I like that. Challenge levels. Excellent! Sorry about that, I uh, wanted to turn off the fan in my window because sometimes you can hear it in the videos. I just forgot to do that before I started recording this time. We've got the Berry Balloon and the Mulberry Mecca! Huh. That was interesting to me because I was facing the other way. Actually, I want to try something. So, most things, uh, the left button on the, uh, the D-pad causes... That is a weird way for the, uh, the thing to look, going through Blobbert like that. Does it normally do that? Huh. Well, you hit the button and it re you know, replays the transform animation and faces the other way. That's what it does with the cannon, the rocket, whatever. The mecha animation takes quite a bit longer, so can I flip that? Now I'm facing to the right. Okay, he's facing to the right this time. He was facing to the left last time. No, I cannot do that. Interesting. But you can know, turn around, so it's not that big a deal. Dear, there's no down at all. He's just bowing for the camera. Shit! I can't do it. Oh, look! It needs enough room! That's really funny. Hey, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to just drop it at my feet. I held it exactly long enough for the thing to appear. It's facing to the left again. Interesting, the one item there doesn't make a difference. Treasure chests in this uh, challenge level. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, I see. I can't punch that, and I can't punch in midair, so I have to kill these guys, unfortunately. Walk underneath. Lock is low. 
I bet if this was a movie, the mech would be based on a toy in Billy's bedroom. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, it's basically my only tool right now. So I guess the mech is probably the solution here. The steam is a great touch, too. And again, maybe it is intentional that the uh, mushrooms there are shaking as I walk. Give him the old left jab. show us the meeting where they decided to put something silly and powerful in. Maybe if it was if it was actually a way another way forward reference, I assume would be a trailer for that game. Well it doesn't seem like a trailer for that game. Oh, they drew it as a wheelchair, there. Yeah, same effect, I guess. They can move, huh? Alright, one more standard level. Wish me luck. We've got the Mulberry Mecha. Punch Hole. The uh, berry balloon, the tangerine trampoline, and the licorice ladder. All your favorites. Oh my! You killed them! You're a monster! They were your own kind! Not a single blob or. Humans die to our hand, that's for sure. Just oozes. Okay, maybe it is a racism thing. See, they wanted me dead, so I don't mind when we do it. Those guys were on the same team. I really like how extra that one explosion of ooze is. Like that would be the scene of the kid's dad gets covered in slime or something. Comic relief dad. You know, in the 90s he would have been pit played by uh, Rick Moranis or Martin Short. No! That would be very embarrassing to fall to your death right there at the last level. Reminded for some reason of that death battle channel where, uh. Well, whenever they're comparing two characters to each other, they have, you know, there's a thing where characters from really cartoony shows are considered really powerful because of the silly things that they're doing. Because when death battle calculates how strong someone is, they take everything seriously. 
you know, so if they do a thing where a character shows up on another continent seconds after someone makes their favorite food, well, they will interpret that as that character possessing situational super speed. Like, uh, I remember <laughs> hearing that some of the most powerful characters they've encountered were, uh, from My Little Pony, although the most devastatingly powerful fictional character they ever had to calculate was Popeye the Sailor. <laughs> Who once defied the will of God <laughs> when he wanted the universe to be turned off. There you are. I haven't seen any chests or fireflies yet. Mind you, the trick might be to use the, uh, the things that aren't just the mech in order to find them. What is that? That gray stick down there. Oh, it's the trunk of this tree behind me! We're not supposed to see that! <laughs> it's not touching anything. It's like that level in Dishonored where I discovered the, uh, the wall sticking out of the, uh, corner of a wall. Here's Johnny! I found someone a while back who didn't realize that that was a reference to a TV show. When, uh, he says, here's Johnny in The Shining, I mean. Who the fuck is Ed McMahon? What are you talking about? Yeah, the fact that they just stuck it down there in a little hole does make me think that they made a really straightforward path to the mech and then quietly put things just off of it that you would require other things in the mech to get to. Is it the right one? Yes, yes, good. Ah. Fuck! The last one? Well, I suppose they're never in order. Seeing how fast those transformations are really does remind, you know, since I've been doing nothing but mech lately, you know, just seeing those is like, oh yeah, that's a really extra transformation. I'm just getting used to that. I just got used to, I just got used to it too quickly, so now the short ones are, oh, that was fast. Half expecting the punch jelly bean to make him like drill into the actual ground and form the hole. because I haven't done it. Oh, no, there's a ceiling up there. This entire forest is covered in a Perspex dome. I just wanted to 
check a thing. Shout out to Silent Assassin 47, who was extremely stoked to see me playing uh, Hitman Go, and left a comment saying, "God bless your kind heart." Aww. Geronimo! Oh! I didn't see him there. I'm tempting the bear. That's what the phrase is. Uh, well, I'm tempting fate and poking the bear. I'm trying to say both of those at once. I guess they both go to the same place. Lock is low. You know, I can understand why Blobbert had to build up to this one. If he just started with this and turned into a big dude and told Billy, climb into my mouth, I don't think he would have done it. On the other hand, turning into a ladder and saying, hey, you can get up here now. That's much more, uh, inviting. Oh. Works for me. Uh, oh, no. I didn't do it. No! Curses. I was afraid to walk over the middle bit because I couldn't remember if it happened when I walked over them. I know it doesn't go through if I start the mech there, but what if I... Oh, no, I guess not. He was nice enough not to eat me earlier. Let's just leave him alone. Or full enough, whatever. Trolls actually do anything, or is he just humoring Billy? That was for the chest. Damn it. Majesty. Okay, okay, I just changed it up. We got the Mulberry Mecha, the uh, Bubblegum Bouncer, the Berry Balloon, and the uh, Strawberry Shield. Oh, that ability again. Oh, I hate that. The shield is supposed to be invincible. You know what? I should return to the hideout and get the chests on the way back. Ah, oh, fuck! This is the first boss level where I didn't do it. Oh, but there's the timer, too! Ah, oh, shit! 
Hmm. Oh, what the hell. I've got to know what the mech does to this thing. Oh yeah, he's mad. He's real mad. Looks like this whole area is a crater for him. I'm not doing that. I'm not running. I mean, now I'm in control. Shit. Hurry, Blubbert! Our lives literally depend on it. might have to leave that one as a cliffhanger. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna quit out. I don't think that will count for uh, getting the chests, but... Yeah, okay. We get to go back and get them the right way, but... Man, that level. I hope I made the right decision. Well, at least I've got Blubbert and you guys to depend on. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play A Boy and His Blob when we try that again, this time going for the chests, and we, uh... Well, we get our hands... Around the Emperor's throat, I suppose. We finally get to put him out of our misery. Because he heard me when I said... Uh, when I was surprised that I only had to hit him once in that boss fight. Oh, dear. But yes, we will see you then, Burning Dog fans. Later!